All right, guys, it is giveaway time yet again at Foot Trading, and it is another monster giveaway. We're giving away yet another Xbox Series S. Alternatively, if you don't like Xbox and you don't want to play Xbox, you can get £250 to put towards a PlayStation or whatever else it is that you wish to get. You've just got to subscribe to enter. What do you get for your money? For £10 a month, just £10, you get yourself access to Tier 1, which is buying and selling prices for our fodder flips, for our special cards, for our icons, and the weekly trading guide and club stock guide that are handwritten by me. Tier 2 gets you all of that, plus our live sniping filters and our fluctuations area. This live tracks the market 24 hours a day, allowing you to target your buys. And Tier 3 is £20 a month. It gives you everything on that website, but it also gives you access to our Discord bot that direct pings you with the deals that you can go out and buy. It literally says, there's a deal on the market, go and pick it up. It's an amazing, amazing tool. So yeah, get involved, give away Xbox Series S. Let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. Check out Foot Trading. You're going to see why in this video you want to check out Foot Trading. But we don't say it lightly, you'll make millions. But this month, we're also giving away an Xbox Series S or £250 in cash to one of you guys that subscribes, whether you're a current subscriber or a new subscriber. Anyone can enter it, so make sure you do get involved and check out Foot Trading. Because this video is one that's been a few, well, about a week in the making. Um, every week on the website, I bring out a club stock guide. And the advice that I always give is go out and buy one or loads of specific cards. And last week, or week or so, we advised, um, basically, the team of the weeks had got down to not far off discard price. Now, I was lazy. I paid 12k. I'm not going to lie to you. I was lazy. But we said right near discard price as possible, okay? Um, and I put 5 million coins into it on my main account. And I thought, I think it's 5 million anyway. I thought I'd just chill on them um, and see what we do. Now, as you can see... Rugani is now up at, I believe, 19,000 coins. Um, so we'll be selling him and get him sold because I paid 12,000 for each of mine. Tammy Abraham, as you just seen there, um, is up at, I think, similar, 19,000 coins, I think. I think the same. Yep, basically that. So we're looking at making something like 6,000 coins profit per card. So it's basically a 50% return on investment. Now, I don't know the exact amount I put into it. I think it was just short of 5 million. But if I can come out of this with 6, 6.5 million for an investment that I've just chilled on and done whatever, and I literally went up to other accounts, it's pretty easy. And it's a, it's a part of the website for Tier 1 that we do every week. And when things are good like that, we say go out and buy them, and they come off very nicely for people. Uh, they come off extremely nicely, in fact, and it's happened again here. So I'm looking at about 6,000 coins profit per team of the week that I've got, so I'm going to get them sold bit by bit by bit. Now... Basic, basic premise for you. Whatever you guys think about buying, selling, whatever it is, whenever, whenever a card is at discard price, it's very little risk. There's loads, there's no real risk or worry about when you go and buy or when you don't go and buy that card, okay? It's as simple as that. Let's say, figuratively, you have 50k. You can go and do this exact thing, this exact thing with silvers and bronzes at discard price. So whenever you see um, Major Nation rare silvers at discard price, buy. Whenever you see League SBC silvers at discard price, buy. Whenever you see rare bronzes of the same category at discard price, buy. You cannot go wrong. They will go up in price and you'll make profit. It's as simple as that. Mid-level. Whenever you see special cards at fodder price, buy. So Pedro, uh, Pedro Poro at the moment, I think it is. He's currently sat at like near enough what discard price is for 89s or fodder price is for 89s. When he's getting packed consistently, whenever it is, and if we get a second team or whatever and that happens... Buy them, because eventually they're going to come out of packs and they're going to go up in value. So it's a no-brainer. Buy. Whenever a card is at base price for that, that rating, base price for that card, whatever it is, buy that card. So, with that said, I'm going to go and start selling my stuff. I'm feeling quite smug, because um, Tammy Abraham is at 19,000 coins. I'll be right back. Alright, so first set has been sold, and they're selling quite easily. Start at 18, 19 and a half, 19. 19 is a sweet spot. I'm happy to sell them at. Um, but this is... What I talk about, people say, I've got X amount of time to trade in the site. You can literally go and do this. Just go and buy loads of them, play your game, chill, do what you've got to do, and sell them on. And we, we make calls like this all the time. We did it with Mbaba for his... I can't remember what Mbaba card he had, but... What card was it from Mbaba? But his special card, and it basically was near enough discard price, maybe 5 or 6k above it, and we said buy it, and within three days of him being out, he doubled in price from 15 to 30,000, I think it was. Went the wild card, that was it. 
So we said to double it up, basically. So, again, I'm going to keep selling um, and fill up transfer piles and come back to you as I go. But, like I said, I'm hoping to make... If we can get towards 2 million coins profit from it, I'd be happy. I think more likely is 1.5 million. But what took me literally half an hour to buy, 45 minutes to buy probably, to buy them. I've held them now for about a week, give or take, and been doing whatever stuff. To make that sort of profit in that amount of time is awesome. If you can repeat that three times in a month using the website, it's about 4.5 to 5 million coins profit a month. It's that easy. I'll be right back. All right, so we continue, and it feels like 18.5 has become the sweet spot to sell them at. Um, at the beginning, it's hype. They go up, 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 and then they do slowly come down. Um, but it's averaging out about 6,000 coins a card, like I say. We're at 3.66 million. Um, but there are a couple of other investments that I'm going to talk about and show you guys that we came up with while, um, while we were doing this stuff as well. So we always try and cover low, medium, high-budget investments as much as we possibly can. It's why people make so much on the site. But like I say, I'm doing this right now. I'm waiting for stuff to sell. A bit by bit by bit, it will sell. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for 2 million coins profit. That'd be a fantastic place to, to find ourselves um, at the end of all of this. And basically allow me to go and buy the players I want for the team and develop the team in the way that I want to develop it. So that'd be very, very good. And then we'll start the trading series. So after that, we're doing that trading to Hullet, trading to whoever it is that we haven't got. Um, and basically hammering out every week a brand new player in the club. So yeah, we're going to keep going. I'll see you soon. All right, and so we've broken way past now where we bought in. I think we bought in just under 5 million, but I could be wrong. But either way, I know it's 5 million around there. So 5.2 million now uh, we are at, and we're selling them like hotcakes. Really, really easy. Um, and we're just going to keep selling and selling and selling. Um, one thing, again, just notice this, and on, on the Trading to Messi account, we'll be looking at it. But the Rare Election Pack came out today. And so even for me, as somebody who has a coins, while I'm here, I might just buy a few of these. Uh, and I'll stick them in the club. And when they go up in price in a little bit, a little bit of time, um, I'll see profit back from it. On Sean's account, it'll be fantastic. I'll buy loads of them on his account, get him stocked up, um, and not have to worry about it. Even on my account, though, I still get involved. And we put that in the, in the uh, club stock guide. So, absolute banger. But yeah, I'm going to keep going. I'm hoping we can hit close to 7 million. It might be a bit ambitious to hit 7 million, but you never know. I'll see you soon. All right, guys. And so, 6.5 million is where we've ended up. So, I'm pretty sure it was just below 5 million that we did buy into it. Either way... Even if I was to say bang on 5 million, that is 1.5 million coins profit for what was probably about 45 minutes of buy-in and what do you reckon chat? An hour of sale? Yeah, about an hour of sale. So an hour and 45 minutes of actual work to make 1.5 million coins. Now, it isn't just that though, because you want to invest based upon your budget. So you might sit at 100k now and think, oh, I'm going to go out and buy loads of informs. And for you guys, it doesn't make any sense. What does make it sense is buying into... Areas of the market that are um, that are better fitting for your budget. So for those that were low budget, we said to them, go and pick up these Leipzig keepers. And the reason we did that was because Leipzig only have um, a expensive high rated gold ke uh, keeper. Now up until today, they've been selling for quite a lot, which is, this is more what it sells for about 3,000 coins. They dipped a little bit because a rare election pack came out. Now while it doesn't affect these cards specifically because they're non-rare, it still brings the price of the market down. But these cards are all selling for about 3,000 coins. So it realistically, it's an easy way to pick up coins. And what I've also gone and done, and what I did um, quite early on, was I bought into loads of Bundesliga cards. Partly for League SBC reasons, but also to show people what happens. And if I show you the Bundesliga cards that we've got, we'll go value, high to low, silver, league, Bundesliga. We bought these while they're out of packs. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, and they've been dipped down tonight because we've got silver supply. But even with the silver supply, you're looking at not far off double your coins. And it's really, really not that hard a thing to do in order to pick up coins, pick up profit from them. And again, this is them being hit in price. So those who are low budget, it's an obvious thing that you guys can do, investing. But it's a really simple bit of advice here. <laughs> Aimbot, thank you for the follow. It's a really simple bit of advice here. When anything gets down to discard, when anything gets down to fodder price, when anything is at a low and you know it can't really get any lower, buy. It's as simple as that. If you get special cards that are down to fodder price... Um, Pedro Porro, for example, is one of the examples of that. He's pretty much fodder price at the moment. You can buy them. They're a safe enough buy. If you see fodder, for example, if you go onto a graph and let's say you're looking at, I don't know, Koke, who I've got down there. If you're looking at him and you know his lowest ever has been 10,000, he's sat at 9,000, usually a good time to buy. Yeah, he might go further down slightly, but eventually he's going to get back up to the 15, 20k he was at before, so you can buy. And if you're willing to hold, you'll make a lot of profit very, very quickly. We always put it in the, um, in the club stock guide. And the reason that club stock guide comes out on a Friday for you guys, 
whenever we bring it out is because we allow the content for the week to happen. We get the leaks, whatever's happening over the weekend. And a lot of the, the buy-ins come at that moment there when the best buy-in time is going to be when everyone's opening up packs. So Friday evening, everyone opens up, pa opens up packs to the new special team, whatever it is from the promo. Um, so that's going to bring the promo cards onto the market. That's going to bring Team of the Weeks onto the market. It's going to bring fodder. And it'll give you a rough idea of what it is. And then we basically say, go and buy into these cards at this price. Because I'll get down to that because we based it upon objective fact of what we're seeing. So that's what you want to get involved with. But that is a minimum of 1.5 million coins profit for less than two hours of actual work, which is nuts. Um, I'm buzzing with that. I'm very, very happy with that. Dan, who is the other, <laughs> other owner of Foot Trading, decided to do this exact same thing with like 40 million. So he's been making about 20 million coins profit because he had decided to have the most ridiculous amount of fun buying and selling cards. But that is how to make a million coins in about two hours, if that... If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.